Welcome to Landria on God and YouTube, here to help you break through fear and live an awesome life. And today, we are going to talk about bypassing law of attraction and everything else to go straight into what you desire. You ready for that? This is advanced. Now, why is it advanced? Because we spend so much time trying to get something, trying to track something, using techniques, how do I get the thing? And that is the opposite of us actually creating it. And it's not even creating anything, so to speak, because everything already exists. Now, my three-second manifesting and three-second reality shift is to pull you away from that disbelief and hopefully have you go straight into that thought of what you desire. Because when you do that, you become that thing. You are that thing. You feel that thing. Now, I did another video of the reality shift because I realized some of you are going over here thinking about that desired life. But there are negative feelings attached to it. So you're really blocking it. So not only are you looking at the thing you desire, but you are now attaching negative feelings to it. And that is a major block. All right? So you have negative feelings, you're not even thinking about what you desire. You come over, you think about what you desire, and then you block it. You're going, oh, I love, oh, I want that, oh, I don't have any money for that. It's so, I, I don't deserve that, it's never going to happen. And you're focused on the thing you desire. Double whammy, man. You know, it's like, okay, bad, negative, not going to happen. We've got to clear all that up. There is nothing between you and what you desire. Nothing. Now herein, I want you to really wrap your head around this and be okay with this because this is how things do work. We are in a, on a dense planet. Fortunately, things don't manifest like that or else, you know, it would be chaos with our irresponsible thinking and beliefs. It took you a while to get into the position you're in now. There's a reason for that. Don't discount the value. It is all valuable. So all of that journey you've had into, you know, uh, struggling financially or struggling in relationships or self-esteem and all that stuff, that didn't happen overnight. So when people go into this manifesting uh, techniques, which to me that doesn't even exist. You either do it or you don't. It's not a technique. You are it. When people go into this mood, mode of trying to switch over, what they're, they're like expecting instant results, which can happen. You can shift it. You do shift into that new reality. But they don't want to deal with the, the un, unwinding of whatever they have put into play over here. They don't want to deal with it. They just think it should go away. Well, that's part of your journey. And there are still possibly lessons to be learned and things that you need to handle over here because you're here for that. It's not about, okay, I'm not that broke person. I'm going to have money and everything's going to go away. <clears throat> that journey of struggle and suffering has extreme value in it. And I see so many people just wanting to discount it, not want it. And you're, that's another battle and struggle against the very thing that you ordered to learn something. Value it. Embrace it. Instead of going to, I'm getting so many letters from you guys, emails from you guys, saying that people stopped seeing their counselors. They realized all they were doing is sitting there talking about this, this negative thing that shouldn't have happened. I say, you want to be at peace with something? It absolutely should have happened. It all was part of a role playing that everybody agreed to. You don't have to know why. You don't have to battle it anymore. And I know we say it shouldn't happen, bad things shouldn't happen, but they do happen. Why are they happening? We're doing it. What are you going to get from it? It's extremely valuable. Use that. It's empowering. When you battle it, it weakens you. It takes you down. No value. I'm a victim. Blame. And that's that separatism. Second thing is everything's one thing. You are not separating yourself when you go into the quantum field and you just shift into a new reality. You know that you are that reality. So most people are saying, there's something out there I need to attract. No. Boom. 
When you think that way, you're separating yourself. No more separation. Quantum field is one thing. Not reacting, happening. Happening. It is not separate. You can chop this, you know, photon up a million times. It's never going to send a message. It's happening. It's as if it was never separated in the first place. We're not separated. You and I are still the same energy. You can chop it up 101 different ways, and it's still the same energy experiencing the same thing. It's a hologram. That is true. Not some guy on a computer up there, you know. We are one energy. So, holy cow. You're part of the exact energy that you desire to create in your reality, to bring into your reality, to shift into it. All right? So you are not separate. You are it. Now, when you're over here and you're battling and you want things to happen and how do I bring it, you are, not, you are behaving like the person who doesn't have it who believes that there's a law that they need to use to attract something. That very thinking separates you from the desired manifestation you want in your life. That's what's stopping you, is that thinking. It's not law of attraction. Law of attraction is just quantum physics. It's just a term. Don't get hung up on this stuff. When I use quantum physics, I'm just trying to shift you away from this thought that you are separate from something. It is you. Shifting into being that new person now no longer thinks like the person that thinks they need to attract it. You know. You have it. You are it. Now you have to think, act, and be that person who has that thing, whether it's shown up now or not. And if you question it, then you are not that new person who knows it's done. So when you think that you have to get something to be something, get the money to be that person, whatever, then it's not. You are not that reality. You are not that person that has it. This is why my three-second reality shift and three-second manifesting is designed to get you to just shift into it. It exists. Boom! Are you that new person? I'm going to ask you a question right now. All right. Let's do it. Boom. We want to go into it. Let's shift into it. You can shift into that reality where you are that new person, where you are the wealthy person. Abundant. Let's just be abundant. Can we get, get off of this extreme materialism thing? Because it's not making you happy. It's stressing you out. How about just being abundant and having the things you desire? A life without stress, financial stress, right? That would be wonderful. How about being the person who's worthy? A person who is loved and loves themselves, all of these things, you can shift into that. That means you have got to stop thinking like the person who thinks they don't have it. And that's the biggest challenge for us. We see it as something separate out there that we need to bring to us. It's not. But as long as you keep acting like that and thinking that way and trying to get manifesting techniques, how about mantras and well, forget it. Words are powerful if they're coming from the person who already has it. I say that my mantra every morning before I get out of that bed, I am whole, perfect, strong, powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. And that's not even a mantra. If I was going to make one up, that, I wouldn't choose that. But that's from the master key system. And it wields years of power. Years and years of power, and other people have used it. So words can be powerful. As a collective, we're extremely powerful. That's why prayer works, because we all want the same thing together. And that power makes it happen. As long as there's a receiver willing and desirable of that manifestation. Then before I get out of bed, I thank the universe. For me, the one, the source, God is the universe, is everything. Thank you for letting me be this person who makes a difference on this planet. Thank you for this beautiful opportunity to make a difference in other people's lives. I say that in the morning before I get out of bed. And then when I get out of bed, I say, okay, <laughs> here's what I desire had assistance with today. Uh, bring it on because I have to give permission for the other energies, the expression of me. They're all just 
individual expressions of the one energy. That's how they can help me because they, we are the same energy. But I still have to give permission to the individual expression of my energy, your energy, our energy, to come in and work with me in the desired manifestation person that I choose to be. And that's free will. On this planet, we have free will. So there's, that's something that's in play here that may not be in play in other places. We don't have to concern ourselves with that. So when I grant permission, I say, okay, uh, I, I ask for, uh, this is, be careful with this one. I ask for acceleration. Eckhart Tolle asked, asked for acceleration, and uh, he got a call from Oprah Winfrey, and his life changed. He didn't know what that was going to really mean. Who would ever guess what that means? But he didn't put rules on it, right? He just asked for acceleration. The universe is going to make it happen because you're part of that higher energy over there making those decisions. So don't worry about that. So somebody wrote me today and said, and this is what prompted this video. I'm getting major downloads today. Uh, he said, uh, I want you to help me manifest, figure out, tell me how to manifest a lottery win. Here we go with the lottery. This is the, and what, I'm not making fun of the lottery or people wanting to, to you know, win the lottery. What I'm trying to express through the lottery is that a lottery mentality means that you're not getting why we're here. It's not about just getting some stuff or money. It's about your journey. And that is the most powerful thing and the reason why you're here. All right? So when you want to win the lottery for different reasons, you know, to help others or whatever, I say you are missing the fact that you can do all of that right now. And then guess what? Something will show up. Some windfall will show up for you. And it's going to be exactly the way it should that's best and most powerful for you. So this person says he wants to win the lottery so he can become a pilot and move to the desired country he wants to be in. I said, so you're saying that there's a step between you and being the pilot. In other words, here's the pilot living in that country. That's who I want to be. I'm not that person. There's a lottery win that's going to allow me to be that. No, you have to be it. You have to be it. I'm already the pilot. So I know that that thing that I desire, it's already done. I already am the person that has it. I'm just waiting for it to show up. All right? So let's talk about that. If you are sitting there thinking that you have to do things to get what you desire, you are not the person who has it. You are not the person who's abundant or in a great relationship or whatever, whatever it is you desire. Your shift, your reality shift, is to let go of the question of whether or not you're going to get it and become that person. You have to think like that person. You start, start acting as if it's already done. So we're going to, what we need to do is write that story. We're going to do that in the next video. And I'm going to do reverse engineering. If you are questioning that this thing out there, that situation, that reality you desire, is something you need to attract, there's some middleman between you and it, then you are not shifting into that reality. There is nobody between you and what you desire. There is no power between you and what you desire. There's no uh, individual uh, thinking entity that is going to grant it. You're doing it. You wield that kind of power. It's a little scary, huh? You are the very thing you desire. If you shift into that person, then you are no longer worried about the manifestations and the incantations and the, you know, whatever you have to do. When you go into meditation and you do all these things, what's happening? Well, you're already that person, so you feel happy about all the things you're going to do as that person. Because, you know, that's just linear time. But you're already there. It's like, wow, this is exciting. This is exciting. I wonder when I'm going to get that call. I wonder when this is, what's going to happen because I don't need to dictate that because there's nothing between me and that. It's just the universe is pulling things together in this linear time frame to make it happen. And I don't need to orchestrate that as a, as a human, function as a human, dense human. You're releasing it to your power, your, your power that you are 
that's making it happen. There is no lottery ticket, no law of attraction between you and what you desire. None. There's nothing between you and that other than your negative thoughts. And if you're looking at what you desire, watch my, my three second reality shift. If you're shifting over to that which you desire and your thoughts are, oh, I will never have that. You are not the person who has it. That's separate. And we're in advanced manifesting right now, my friend. We're doing advanced stuff here. You are not separate from anything. So all you have to do is be the person, think like the person, and let go of every single thought is manifesting. Every thought. So when you start to discount, oh, it didn't, it's not showing up, oh, oh, boom, you just went right back to the person who doesn't believe who's over here broke or over here sad or lonely or whatever else. There's a journey that's going to take you on that, let's say, pathway to the final result. But you are already the person. You still have to already be that person who's on that journey. So this person on this journey doesn't believe it, thinks it's over here. If you shift over here, you're on a different pathway and journey and reality to that thing, final thing you want. And you're okay with the journey on the way to where it is. You're going to have to do certain things. You're going to have to switch gears. You're going to have to think differently. You're going to have to put some work in. It's part of the fun journey of discovery, of learning, of doing amazing things. Don't miss that. That's why you're here, not to bypass it. There is no lottery ticket between you and being a pilot. If you are the pilot and you know it's already happened, nothing will stop you from being that pilot. Why? Because you're already the pilot. And that pilot doesn't say no, doesn't take no for an answer. The pilot finds a way. I am a pilot. Here's my journey as the pilot. How did I, how did I get there? We're going to reverse engineer that in the next video. There is no law between you and what you desire. There's nothing you need to attract. You have to switch into exactly who you are and desire to be. And do not question that and stop thinking like the limiting person that doesn't have it, that thinks there are some words they have to do or say to get there. Those words you're going to do and say what, as the new person, those are powerful. When you're saying the words over here as something that's out there that you need to get, you're still a disempowered person. You don't believe you, that that's who you are. Does this make sense? We're going to go into some seriously advanced stuff. Yeah, seriously advanced stuff. And it's going to go bing and you're going to stop screwing around with these negative thoughts and these how do I do this, how do I do that. The fact that you just said that tells me you don't understand what you are. <laughs> you're walking around with the power of the universe. You are the power of the universe. Playing out a role, play the role. You chose it. It's not going to go away overnight. Value the role. Understand it. And when you do that, everything goes to this highest frequency of, wow, there are no coincidences. I chose this. There's something really valuable in this. What am I going to do with it? Wow, anything I want. Be the thing. Be the person. Be the situation. Be steadfast. This is what manifests that life you want. You have to already be it, know it, stop thinking like a limiting ninny. I don't know, how do I remember? The person who is that doesn't think that, they already know. They're confident, they know. Right? You're whole and perfect, strong, powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. That was a little butt kicking today, right? Because you are the power. Claim it. Use it wisely with love, compassion, peace. Can we go there? It's time. Namaste.